is my pride. didn't kill you makes you. I lived, I loved, I lost, but I conquered. Cheers to a new beginning. you to inform you that I have found a school I want for my masters. Oh, oh congratulations. Thank you. Uh, I, I hope it's not a foreign school. It is actually. Erika, hmm? how am I supposed to find that? You are not my father, Val. Besides, it was my dad that told me to quit working so I can concentrate on my studies. Mm -hmm, it's true. It's true that your father told you that quit school and go. I mean, quit working and concentrate on school. It's good. But uh, I'm, I'm your boyfriend. You know, I'm supposed to support. Yes, support when you can. Only. Don't make it seem like I'm your responsibility. You will soon be. Stop saying that. You will soon be. You know, I'm just telling you what will happen. You know, I'm just sometimes I'm just. I'm, I'm confused. I'm just thinking of how I will, I, will, I will get myself out of this situation. You know? I, 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 I keep being broke. But hey, listen. Everything is going to be alright. Mm -hmm. I'm coming for you the right way. Alright? Okay. Alright. Okay, in the meantime, how, how, how are we going to do about this school? Um, well, I'm applying for scholarships. Even though my daddy said that he's going to sell this house to fund my education. I don't want him to do that. And Erica, this 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 school must be very, very expensive. Actually, it's, no, it's... no, don't worry, don't worry. Don't don't even try telling me the price yet. <laughs> it can give me a heart attack. I'm not I will to... not tell you. I will not. But we are looking at um thousands of euros. If you do that, it's even the cheapest school I found. Thousands of euros? And that's the cheapest school you, you, you found? I'm not even asking. I'm not yet to do it. Let me just keep quiet. Euros. See, um, Erica, I know how important this school is to you, okay? But, uh, that's all I, I think about these days. Erica, Tina! <laughs> okay, Mom. Stay in my welcome. Okay. Good job, mom. Alright. Okay, mommy, I'm going. See. I love you. Daddy! Daddy! <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. Welcome, Daddy. How are you? How is work? Everything 
is going on now. Maybe we will push him for better opportunities. Good. Keep being diligent, okay? Someday the opportunity will come. Erica, are you deaf? Emma. Oh. She's seeing her father. There's no time for that. Sweetheart, how are you? Why do you keep condoning that child? And why are you not? Are you serious right now? Very serious. I am trying to get our child to be serious about her future and the opportunities that are before her. And you, you keep encouraging her to mortgage that future. Helen, that young man may be struggling at the moment, but he's not going to struggle forever. <laughs> Well, don't we all love a grace to grace story? But that is not the reality of 90% of the men out there. We just have to let them be. Okay? He's a decent man. I prefer him to those wolves in sheep clothing who have inexplicable wealth. Are you trying to say that every young man that does well, does well under illegal means? I didn't say so. Okay? I have discussed with that young man on several occasions. I like him. I like his personality. And like I said, he's a very decent man. A young man who has all it takes to compromise, but has refused to do so. That young man is a first-class graduate. Uh, is that what we use to pay the bills nowadays? Do you know how many first-class students are roaming the streets? Helena, all that young man needs is encouragement. And I will continue to encourage him. Ben, encourage him all you want. Just make sure you encourage him to get away from our child. Our daughter has made her choice. And we must respect her choice. On several occasions, I have seen expensive cars in front of our house. I've also watched her turn them down. Now that is one nonsense she will never do again. If you enjoy being poor, I will make sure our child does not. I don't like it when you refer to me as poor. Mm -hmm. You did not meet me poor. Mm -hmm. Stop using that word. since we left their house. I'm not bothered about how my mom treats you. You know she doesn't really mean it. Yeah, not really, you know, that's not really. So what is it? I'm worried about not being able to help you with your school, you know? I'm, I'm just I'm just worried. Like I'm 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 your boyfriend and like at least I have to support you, you know? You see all this driving I've been doing. I've been investing all the money inside my, my app, you know? And I've been doing this since, like, I've been, in, I've been investing all my money inside this app and thinking that, you know, one, one tech companies in Nigeria will, will, will help support me and none of them are helping me. Eh? They don't support talent. I've, I've, I've written, you know, numerous mails to them. They are not even responding. You know, this thing is just frustrating me. And I've invested all my money. Sometimes I just feel like just giving up and just moving on with my no, life. Don't say that. Don't say that. Don't ever give up. I believe in you. I believe in your dream. But you know, just like you said, Nigeria doesn't really support tech like that. It's always very rampant. But one thing with tech and one thing with building your own app is the moment it peaks, it becomes a life-changing experience for you. You might be wondering what I'm doing too. It's because I love you and I believe in you. I believe in your dream and I believe in this app. Request. I named it Request, remember? Very soon the whole world will know about you and they'll be requesting for Request. <laughs> did you see what I did there? Are you trying to cheer me up or something? <laughs> yes. Please. You're so talented and I love you. Okay? Here. I'm sorry, Mama. I'll, I'll just make this swallow now. Do you have an idea of what time it is? 
Mom, I'm sorry. I, I already brought out the soup. It's just to make this one and say. Looks like it's time to ban that boy from coming to this house. What did you just say? You mom? heard me. I'm going to ban that boy from coming to this house. What did he ever do to you? It is what he will do to you that I am worried about. You are too blind to see. Idiots. What? I didn't know. Yes. Thank Darling. you. Is there anything the matter? Who are you talking to? And why the shock on your face? <laughs> Someone that I know and haven't seen for a very long time died a few months ago. Oh my God. And you're just hearing about it? Exactly. Oh, I'm so sorry. Thank you. Sorry. Well, I'm on my way to work. Huh? Take care of the house. Have a good day. Okay. Please, endeavor to help me do the laundry. Huh? Am I your washman? What? Come on, stop this. Bye. You said you want data, right? Yes, I will make sure I do that. Okay? Thank you. Bye, Daddy. All right. Bye bye. going on you have makeup on mm -hmm. wow directly it's giving bloody vibes <laughs> where are you going to for a meeting uh, what kind of meeting the kind i'll tell you when i come back uh, mom you hardly bring out this outfit it is appropriate for this meeting Where is this meeting? Didn't I say I will tell you about it when I'm done? So it's out of town? No, it is not. But mom... Ah, you... Will you stop disturbing me and asking me questions? Sorry. I just came to find out if I should soak the beans for my mom. I will not have time to make it. You have to do it yourself. Ah, myself? No, you know yours is always better. Uh -huh. I will have to wait till tomorrow and... That depends on the outcome of this meeting. Oh, okay, so what should I make? Banga. Uh, Mom, mm. is it women's meeting? No, it is PTA. Uh, PTA. Okay. Ah. Helen. Johnson. So this is you. In the flesh. You know, when I had you on the phone this morning, I almost didn't believe it. <laughs> I noticed. Please come. Mm. And you're looking as ravishing as ever. And you always with the words. We're always telling the truth. <laughs> please. Come on, please. Have a seat. I have to admit. I'm quite impressed at how good looking you have been. Wow, I'm glad you said that. <laughs> this, 
Ah. My condolences on the loss of your wife. Ah, thank you so much. Well, I'm surprised you said you didn't hear about it. I mean, it's been some months now. <laughs> How was I supposed to know? You never called. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I did reach out there. You know, so much on my mind, a lot of... Well... I'm sorry. It's all right. Thank you. Oh, what do I offer you? Mm. Some juice? All right. Got that. I'll be right back. Mm. Poverty that has blinded you to the fact that the sun has already set. What are you doing at my house at this time of the day? Uh, ma, I, I, there was a little bit of traffic. Hey. It is not proper for you to be at someone's house at this time of the day. Get out. Mom. Hey, don't mom me. You need to get better manners. And you, I don't want to come down here and find you here. Get out. I'm sorry, ma. Get out! I'm, I'm, I'm leaving, ma. Shh, shh, shh. Don't worry, okay? I, I, I will see you outside here, okay? Okay, love you. Love you, okay? Elena, I called you. You didn't take my call. What happened? There wasn't any need. What do you mean by there was no need? I was already on my way home, so there was no need to pick. I came back from work. I was told you attended a meeting. A meeting you never mentioned to me. It was getting late, so I called to find out if you're safe. You didn't pick. Why? Does it mean that as your husband, I don't have the right to know your whereabouts? I'm talking to you. Darling, what is it? Daddy. Mom walked Van out. What? I came home, it was late and he was still here. It's not so late. Daddy, he called and said he was stuck in traffic. I wanted to go over there and see him, but he insisted I wait for him so I would be safe, but Mom still walked him out. Can you see this kind of irresponsible behavior? Saying she wanted to go out this late to see a boy. Anyway, I don't blame you. It is your father that gave you the boldness to behave this way. Fine. Next time I'll just go out and see him. Go and see him. You will see what I'll do to you. Can you see? See what? See what, Helen? Uh -uh. Helen, what did that boy do to you? Does he have to do anything to me for me to know he is not good enough for my child? Are you aware that he has been protecting our daughter? Protecting her. Should he be the one protecting her or should we be the ones protecting her from him? You know what? I don't want that girl sneaking out of this house in search of her boyfriend just because you make her father's house uncomfortable for her. Okay. Let her sneak out. She will see a side of me that she has never seen before. You just have to be very careful. Be careful, Helen. She's only trying to be protective. That's not true, and you know it. Val never lets me get out of this house, and you know it. He's a good boy, I know. He doesn't even take me to a club or, or places that he knows that you might not like. Val is a decent boy. Then no why doubt. can't mom just see that? 
You know what? Stop crying. Wipe your tears. Okay? Val has my approval. And we will get your mother to approve of him as well. And what if she doesn't? Then I will show her how stubborn I can be. Stop crying. Hmm? Wipe your tears. It's okay. Do you want me to get your food now? Oh, you want to serve me food in tears? Clean it. I don't like this. I will eat on the condition that you wear a smile on your face. Go ahead and smile. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come here. Hmm? Tomorrow is Saturday. We will do the cooking together. Okay, I hmm? like that. Good. <laughs> now tell me, what are we cooking? What would you like? Um, your favorite. Fangas. Aha! That's it. <laughs> Go get me food. Love you. Wipe your tears. Love you too, darling. Daddy loves you so much. Challenge me, nobody supernatural. Nobody supernatural. Hey, like, like, it's a spirit of the carnival. I sing, I sing to Alia. I sing. Hey, excuse me. I would like to speak to the both of you. I didn't sleep well thinking of how I was going to say this until this morning. I haven't been able to come up with the proper way to say it. Darling, we've been very attentive, listening for you to say something. You haven't said anything. Okay. I'm cooking in the kitchen. My daughter is hungry. Say something. I'm getting to it then. Like I said, there's no proper way to say it. Actually, this is a confession. A confession about what? Something I did 26 years ago. Ben, you are a good man, and I will never be able to repay you for everything that you have done for me, all the love and the kindness. You are equally a good woman, but I want you to go straight to the point. I don't understand what you're trying to say. I met Erika's father. <laughs> Helen. <laughs> Darling, you're very funny. Oh. <laughs> Wait, Say something. What? what? This, this is not a joke. I'm going back to the kitchen. What are you talking about? I, I know how much you love Ben, but he's not your father. Helen, are you okay? Are you stupid? I'm just telling you the truth. What truth? What are you talking about? If you would just allow me to... Allow you say what? Why would you mess up such a thing in, in front of my because daughter? Because she needs to know. Know what? Know what? You're sick. You're mad. You're deranged. You're a criminal. You want to destroy my home. Listen, you must not mention such nonsense in my house again. You're very stupid. Mom, what are you doing? Erica, this is the only way to get it out. I've been keeping this secret for a very long time. You're actually serious. What have you done? What have you done? Erica, Dad! Touch me! Dad! Dad!
Helena, are you crazy? What is wrong with you? Are you crazy? I'm not crazy. Just calm down. I'll explain everything. Explain what? Explain what? Why do I miss her back? <clears throat> Listen, don't tell me you're serious with this nonsense. I am. I've been married to you for 26 years. 26 years! And how is my daughter no longer my daughter? Sorry. You're sorry. Helena is sorry. Just leave this room. I said leave this room! Leave before I do something you'll regret. Get out! Leave. Leave this room. Stupid idiot. Useless fool. A child I've been training for years! You, all of you are mad. You're crazy. Please, I would like to be left alone. Let me explain everything to you properly. I don't even understand what you said in the sitting room. I was in love with another man before I met your father, but he married another woman because of pressure. And I ended up with your father, but the man and I, we were still in love. And I kept seeing him till I got pregnant with you. While you were still with my dad? Yes. So, what, what you're trying to say is that the man I know as my father is not my father? Yes. But you know you cannot say that. Sweetheart. No! Don't touch me. He wants to meet you. I don't want to meet him. You might be happy if you know who he is. I will never meet him. I know that Ben has been good to you. Ben? That's my father. He's not your father. He is my father! Stop saying that! He's my father! I'm disappointed in you. Is what I read uh, true? Val, my dad is not my dad. What's, what's going on? What's go so, who's your dad now? I don't know. That's what my mom told us this morning. I don't know who my dad is. I need to do this. I don't even care. Problem, problem everywhere. Problem everywhere. It's okay. It's okay, Nina. Okay? It's okay. <laughs> So where is your dad? He's at home. I heard him scream. I've never seen him like that before. He's hurt. Who wouldn't? Huh? Who wouldn't? See, this, 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 this issue is very, very. I don't know. It's, it's, it's some way. See, I think your father should insist on a DNA test. No, he'll be devastated for that. And that's the reality. For your father to be sure, he has to do it. So that means if my mom is saying the truth, the DNA will be proof. See, my love, if I, I know your mother well, and what she's saying is true, then your father is coming for you. Then I don't care, because I don't want him. I don't want him. I want my daddy. It's okay, don't cry. Don't cry. I put them everywhere. The country is hot already. You have to know this. Nice. Can you wake me up from this dream? Pour me water. Cause I'm losing my mind Cause I'm losing my mind How on earth do I let it go? 
I don't know, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm to figure it out. These things are falling apart. Cause you what? only cared about me. I just can't believe that you're the one sitting right here with me now. I have no idea what I did right to get this second chance with you. You have no idea how happy I am right now. I can't wait to have Erica back home. She will come home. And you chose a very good name for her. Thank you. You know, you can spend an extra day here or even a few more nights. I will have to go home and come back. Is it safe? I mean, if it was as angry as you said, you might need to spend a few more days here for things to cool off. If I had uh, known that things would turn out the way they did, I would have bought an extra change of clothes. Clothes? <laughs> what are boutiques all around here for? I mean, I'll just get the driver to take you to one and then you shop to your, to your satisfaction. <laughs> really? Oh, come on. Look around you, woman. You've just come into some good life. <laughs> well then, I'm just going to have to tell Erica to pack up and come. Good. I'll tell the driver to take you. Okay. 26 years and you still look this beautiful. <laughs> 26 years and your tongue is still coated with honey. <laughs> I love you, Daddy. I love you too. And I'm not going to lose you. I don't want to lose you too. I must confess. Your mother has broken me beyond measure. Sorry, Daddy. I should come back home. No. Where could she be? Look, where else do you expect her to be? Where she was 26 years ago. Um, Daddy, would you like to get a DNA test? No. Don't say that, okay? I am not ready for any test. But it will help. It will not, okay? I'm not ready to prove paternity of a child I have known as mine for 26 years. It's not going to happen. It's okay. If you don't want, then I don't want either. I'm not going to lose you. You're my daughter and you remain my daughter. Okay? I'm not going anywhere, Daddy. I'm here. I am not going to lose you. It's a promise. I will sit here and watch him come take you. That is if he has the balls. I won't go. I won't. <laughs> Stop crying. I love you, okay? I love you too, Daddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. It's okay. Uh, have you eaten? C can I make us something to eat? Go ahead and make us something. Huh? And stop crying.
Erica, come on, please, please, sweetheart, leave me alone and don't call me that. I know how you feel. You don't. Listen, your father. Is my right? father is in the bedroom. I know you have a close bond to Ben, but mom, I'm just curious. How come you slept with another man while you were still married, yet you treat my relationship like there's something wrong with it? All under the pretense of keeping me decent. I'm just doing what any good mother would do. Good mother? But you slept with another man while you were still married. I thought you watch your mouth. Would you leave me alone? Your father is going to want you to go home. Home? Mommy, look around you. I am home. <laughs> you call this home? When you see home, you will know it is home. Oh, wow. I'm guessing he's rich. <laughs> and he is willing to share all that wealth with you. He's going to make all your dreams come true. Oh, he will. <laughs> well, I don't care. I just have one question, Mom. Did you ever love my dad? Your father, yes. Ben? Well... He's a good man. In fact, I don't want you ever coming back to this house again. Don't bring your miserable life around my child. She deserves better and she's going to get it. I will never approve of you. Rika, the food is ready, right? We need to talk, Ben. Helen, you have become very disrespectful. What you did was despicable, yet you don't want to show remorse. I am only trying to help us face reality. I know where you derive your impetus. You believe Mr. Ben Arubi is a nobody. He has become a nobody. He has nobody to fight for him. Therefore, he can go ahead and do his work. Do you think this is easy for me? Listen to me. You should be ashamed of yourself. You have denigrated yourself before our daughter. Leave dealing with my daughter to me. And what makes you think that you and that idiotic man can take my daughter away from me? I have arranged for a DNA test just to prove to you that I am not lying. There is nothing to prove. Okay? Whether you're lying or not, there is nothing to prove. Don't make this harder than it already is. I thought that you'd be calmer now that I'm back. I see you are now in new clothes. An expensive jewelry. Is that your reason for sleeping outside? You are shameless. You are just shameless. What manner of woman are you? The type that deserves better. The type that is tired of pretending. I haven't been happy with you for the past 26 years. And that is because you're greedy. You're a very greedy woman. All you crave are things you don't need. What haven't I done for you, Helena? I have gone out of my way to make you happy. I provide for you. I provide all your needs. What is wrong with you? What have you done? Everything about you, Ben, is small. You haven't given me a single thing that I deserve since I got married to you. I see. Listen to me. No matter the level of connivance, you and that man friend of yours cannot take my daughter away from me. It's not going to happen. This DNA test is important and it is going to happen. We can either do it quietly or with a lot of noise. Either way, both you and her father need to know. And I've told you I'm not ready for any test. Yes. I cannot prove paternity. Mm -hmm. She's my daughter.
sweetheart. How are you? Are you okay? Well, I'm not. But I'll be. There is something very important I want to tell you. We'll be going for a DNA test tomorrow. Okay, but I, I thought you never wanted that. Well, your mother made me believe that I need it. Okay, so does she have any hospital we can use? Even if she does, there is no way I'm going to use a hospital she recommends. I'll get one myself. Okay, Daddy. If you want to, then I will too. Good. Come. I love you, Daddy. I love you, too. Have a good night, rest. Thank you, Daddy. Good night. I've got to put up a fight Cause some things are worth fighting for But tell me, what's the point if I'll be losing out? Ooh, 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 ooh. Can you wake me up from this? Cause I'm losing my mind Cause I'm losing my mind How on earth do I let it go? I don't know, I'm trying to figure it out These things are falling apart Cause you only cared about you What are you telling me, Dad? Maya, you have a sister. A sister from where? A relationship I had uh, long before you were born. And she's 26? Yes. Meaning you were already married to mom? Uh, leave your mother out of this, okay? Dad, how can I leave mother out of this when you just admitted to me you cheated on her? That's not the point! What the hell is the point, Dad? I'm bringing her home. You're not bringing her home. What? What's the meaning of that? Sit down while I talk with you. Will you sit down? What's the meaning of this? I've been condoning your, your excesses just because, yes, I understand the shock. But look, you better behave yourself. Or I deal with you. I would really like to see how Emery and Dennis react to this. I don't care how your brother and your sister react to it. I am bringing her home and we are all going to live under this roof as one big family. Let's see how that plays out. Yes, let's see. You will tell me whether you gave back to me or I gave back to you. What? Father is my father. Not even a DNA result or anything can change that. That I've been a fool Had no clue I was living a lie I can't believe I was so unsighted Thanks to you I believed in a lie Was never ready for war But right now I've got to put up a fight Fighting for, but tell me what's the point if I'll be losing out? Can you wake me up? From 
from this dream Pour me water Cause I'm losing my mind Cause I'm losing my mind How on earth do I let it go? I don't know I'm trying to figure it out These things are falling apart Cause you only cared about you I was making this for... For you. Not. How about you? I'm not okay. Val has not contacted me yet. I even went to his house and he wasn't there. What could be the problem? I don't know. I'm just worried. You shouldn't be worried, okay? Don't be worried. Dad. Yes, darling. Have you looked at the result? What does it say? Your mother is not lying. Oh my God. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> she will never mean anything to me. Don't say that. I'm serious, Daddy. She won't. Don't say that, okay? Everything will be fine. Stop crying. <laughs> no. You will go and see him. What did you just say? He's your biological father. That's the right thing to do. You have to go and see him. No. What's happening? What's going on? Why are you giving up on me so fast? Darling, I'm not giving up on you. Okay? It's not going to happen. I will never give up on you, my darling. I love you so much. I will fight for you. I will stand by you. Okay? You're my daughter and you remain my daughter. Where was he all this while? Where was he when? when? I've been so afraid, covering for you for 26 years. Nobody can lay claim to my daughter. It's not going to happen. Can I, can I at least think about it? Okay. Go ahead and think about it. But I believe it's the right thing to do. <laughs> Thank you. 
Men, please, let's talk. Alina. You are lucky I am the kind of man that I am. But I must tell you that you are a devil. A very wicked woman. That's what you are. I know this is painful. I don't think you do. I don't think you do. I do. I've always believed all these years that the time will come when your anger and tantrums will fizzle out. I've always believed that it's your way of life, that it will soon be sorted out. But I was wrong. You were waiting for the right time to strike. I wasn't. For 26 years. 26 years, Helen. You made me believe she was my daughter. What was I supposed to do? You were in love with her the moment I delivered. A child that became an integral part of me, Helen. She will come and visit you when she misses you. You're a devil. A very wicked woman. And I can't believe I've been <laughs> working up with you by my side all these years. I know you are angry. You've not seen me angry. And pray you don't. Her father wants to meet her. And who is her father? You don't know him. Listen to me. I need to know him. Because my daughter is not going to stay with a man who knows nothing about her. Your daughter or his daughter. What do you mean by that? Say that again and you will see the beast in me. Uh, you want to beat me? Don't do anything you've not done before and do not allow the devil to use Dare you. Dare me Don't and mention that Don't start anything that, that you cannot finish. Refer to my daughter one more time as is. I promise you you won't live this house alive. Mm. Dare me and see. <laughs> oh. <laughs> feeling sleepy yet? Oh, I don't think I can sleep. I don't think I can sleep. So sorry, Daddy. Let me have that. Thank you. I think you need to sleep, okay? Okay, Daddy. Don't cry again. Good night, Daddy. Good night. How do I look? I look okay? Look, you will not disgrace me today, okay? Oh, that must be them. Oh, but this, my head, get it up. Come on. Come on. Hello, my darling. <coughs> hello, Chief. Hi, yo. Hello, Helen. You're welcome. Wow. Good day. Good day. She's so beautiful. <laughs> uh, uh, come on, come over She's here. She's quite come exceptional. On. Thank you, Helen. Oh, please, come, come, come this way. Come on, come on. Wow. Uh, I know. Uh, we are meeting for the first time, but I know you are going to love coming home. Okay? Right there. Just have a seat. She, like she's so shy and reserved. She is. Okay. Um, we have so much to talk about, but uh, 
Oh. Maya, please get the door. That must be Douglas. Uh, you're welcome, Erika. And you said it. She's really beautiful. Chief. The young man who makes me happy. <laughs> You're welcome. Please have a seat. Sit down. Good evening. How are you, my dear? Oh, well, it's okay. It's nothing. I eventually, both of you will get to know each other better. Definitely. Uh, oh, yes. Maybe, why don't we move to the dining room? I had them prepare some special delicacies in honor of my daughter. Oh, oh yes, I did. <laughs> Shall we? Shall we? Mm -hmm. Come, on. Come on, Maya. You're supposed to start staying in. I don't want to leave here. I don't care. I mean, you and your mother should live our lives. My mother is barely one year in the grave, and your mom is out here running this place like she owns it. I mean, you all should disappear from our lives. If you don't leave, I promise you, I'll make this house a living hell for the both of you. Maya. I know this might be hard for you to believe, but I don't want anything to do with you, this house, or your father. Bullshit. Total bullshit. I can smell a gold digger from a mile. Believe whatever you want, but the one thing you can never do is think that you can intimidate someone like me. Then you don't know me. Then you don't know me too. You don't you know me. You don't know me either. Great. Erica. They missed you. They missed you too, Daddy. Are you not supposed to be in your father's house? I am in my father's house. Besides, that place didn't feel like home. And you came to see me? Yes, I came to be with you. You came back to me? Of course, Daddy. My darling. See, tourism is the mainstay of seeing the cannabis of the world. It's a multi-billion dollar industry. So, we expect questions. Erica! Nelly, what are you doing? Please, please. What are you doing here? I came to give her the gifts that her father bought for. What gifts? You're just lucky that my daughter is at home. I have tried to make you understand that there is no point to this and... What kind of evil woman are you? You left my house to another man's house, yet you come back here to insult me. I have no interest in insulting you. I just want to take my child and leave. What child? I am not going anywhere, Mom. Erica. He can afford to send you to any school you want. Even go on holidays. You've seen the house, haven't you? Oh, you, you think you can entice her with such nonsense? You think she's greedy and insensitive like you? Don't make this any harder than it's supposed to be. You're such a stupid woman. Harder for who? 
is going to come for his child. He dare not! I repeat, he dare not! It can't happen! Erica will. I don't want them, Mom. I really don't want them. Now pick those things and leave this house. Fine. I'm going to pack my things and I'm going to leave. Just do that fast. But know that I'm going to come back for my daughter. You better do that fast because I intend changing my locks. Leading your siblings to gang up against me? That no one is ganging up against you. That we are clearly not happy and you do not care. What on earth do you want me to do? Mom has barely been one year in the grave. Oh, so I should continue to mourn her forever because of that? How about honoring her by at least letting time pass before letting that woman into our home? That woman is the mother of my daughter. Oh, a daughter you knew a few seconds ago? A daughter you, you had while married to our mother? A daughter she knew nothing about. Maya, that deed has been done. Does that make it any better, Dad? So you are supporting your siblings with this stupid threat? Dad, you called us stupid. Yes, it's stupid. Well, we've given you more than enough time to rethink this. Else we will cut you off. With me paying your bills? Dad, you may not realize it. But we are all graduates now. I mean, your kids, we are working. We can take it off from there. But what we will not let you do is disrespect our mother while she was alive and not even now that she is dead. Dad! Maya! Maya, come back here! Ma when did these children become like this? What is the matter, darling? My children, they're just being funny. What happened? They're threatening to disown me. <sighs> they're good children. Besides, who's going to pay their bills? Well, my daughter just made me realize something I didn't think about. You know, they're big children now and they're all working abroad, so they can afford to take care of themselves. You know, Maya came home just to be with me when they thought I was lonely. And now that she's upset, she might just pack her things and go back. And that means they might never ever talk to me or contact me again. They're good children. They will never turn their backs on you. They love their mother so much. And if they think they're honoring her, they might just do anything. Well, what exactly do they want? <sighs> they want you to leave. Well, that is just a very selfish demand. You're supposed to remain lonely for the rest of your life. That's what I've been trying to tell them. Darling. Daddy. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I told you to quit your job for a reason. And that is because I want you to concentrate extensively on your studies because of your exams. But that doesn't mean you should kill yourself. <laughs> huh? You've okay. been in here for hours. Yes, Daddy. I'm studying for my scholarship. I know. I don't need that man's money to study abroad. That's good. I'm so proud of you. Thank you, Daddy. But in, in as much as you're reading, you should also, you know, play a bit. <laughs> All work and no play. Makes Erica a dog girl. <laughs> <laughs> so how is it going? It's going well. Oh. You know what? 
Daddy is making dinner. Oh. Mm. Thank you, Daddy. That's good. <laughs> so, I'm getting it right away. I love you, Daddy. Love you too. You're the best. I love you. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Maya, why don't you join us? I'm fine, thank you, Dad. Come on, come and join us. No, I have something to do. Um, I need to finish up. Yeah, you can do that after the meal. Come on. No, 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 no. Thank you, Dad. <sighs> now I'm finding it difficult to even talk with my children. They will be fine. I know that they think I'm trying to replace their mother, but I'm not. But why haven't you been able to convince Erica to come home? You know, she has a very tight bond with Ben, but I'm going to break that. Soon. Ben had better realize that where I come from, we don't leave our children outside our home. I will do everything that is necessary to get my daughter to come home. I mean, I'm only just giving him a few weeks for him to do the right thing and release my daughter to me so that I can have time to settle the anger of these other kids. If he doesn't do that, he's going to see a side of me that is not exciting. Well, that is the appropriate thing to do. Well, I need you to help me make sure that Douglas and Erica become close. Yeah, I'm trying to work out something with uh, Douglas's family. They're a very good family and... I'm interested in doing some very serious business with them. I would have used Maya for that, but, you know, she's getting married to my best friend's son, Anthony Hussein, you know. So please. Well, you know, Douglas is the sort of gentleman that I pray to God my daughter would marry. And you are an influential man. So. Oh, thank you. <laughs> What of Mr. Ben? Are you sure he's going to like me? My father, you mean? No, Mr. Ben. Well, you should be worried about me liking you first. You can't just wake up one morning and sack a diligent staff. I did nothing. Of course, I, I went straight to the HR. She refused to explain it. Why pay me back in such a bad coin? What, what have I done? Eh? Honestly, I'm confused today. I'm confused. I don't know what to do. Okay. Oh, my God. <sighs> Erika has been suspended from work. What? Your mother is unbelievable. Daddy, are you saying she did this? She has a hand in it. She must have told him where I work. I was told my CEO and Chief Johnson are best of friends. Oh my God. She did this because of me. We're going to confront him. I will not allow this slide, okay? We're going to confront him. A company I gave 15 years of my life. You can't just wake up and, and suspend me like that. I'm so sorry, Daddy. I'm so sorry for everything. It's okay. Let me get you something to eat. Don't bother. I'm not in the mood for food. I'm sorry. It's going to be okay, Daddy.
Oh, Erica, why are you standing as if you are not in your father's house? Please sit down. Sit down. Thank you, sir. Yes, uh, gentlemen, how may I? Chief, I was recently suspended from work. Oh, you work for me? Chief, I don't work for you, but I work for your friend. Who is that? Uh, Dr. Anthony Husseini. Oh, Tony. He's a good man. Uh, you must have done something very, very... Chief, I did nothing wrong. I did nothing wrong. So why are you in my house and not at Tony's? Chief, I am convinced in my heart that you have a hand in my suspension. Why would I be bothered about what happens to you? Why? Chief, I was suspended because of my daughter, Erica. Uh, it's something uh, I know. Uh, 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 watch your words. Very careful. Watch your words. What do you mean by that? Ben, I really think you should... What do you mean by that? Chief, Chief, are you aware that I am still legally married to this woman? Eh? I am not married to you. Helena, if, uh, I am ashamed of you. Hey, gentlemen, gentlemen, please. You don't have an iota of shame in you. I will not sit here and have you insult my woman in my presence. And let me tell you, this suspension is only the beginning. I will make sure I run you out of this city if my daughter does not return. Chief, you are not threatening me. You are threatening me. And why are you talking about me like I'm not here? I can speak for myself. I don't want to live here with you. Don't speak to your father like that. I'll talk however I want to, Mom. It's okay, Erica. Let us go. It's a okay. But Helena, it's a promise. You will regret this. Ben, you're making a mistake. It's a promise. Don't say you were not warned. Erica, leave me alone. This man does not know what I'm capable of doing. He deserves whatever you're about to do to him. As long as Erica comes back home. I failed to make her happy. Daddy, please don't say that. It's not your fault that mom has always been searching for a better life. Now I am at war with the man I am hearing of for the first time. So sorry. Which brings me to why I'm here. I want to move in with them. What did he just say? He wants me. And I want your life. Daddy, as long as you're safe, I'll, I'll always come here. I'll always be with you. I'm your child and nothing is ever going to change that. When you move in with them, what then happens to me? Remember, Daddy, that a living dog is better than a dead lion. And once there's life... right now. Yes, they've moved in. Please, whatever it is we need to do, we need to do it as fast as possible because I can't coexist with these leeches. Yes, we have to be fast about it, please.
this is in the city. Who go and see? Mom, I'm busy. Sweetheart. Douglas is a wonderful boy and he's important to your father. Go and see him. Mom, I'm trying to eat. I can see this. Sweetheart, this is not the kind of man you act too busy for. I'm not acting, Mom. I'm actually busy. Would you be behaving this way if it was that hungry boyfriend of yours? He has a name, Mom. It's Val. And we are no longer together. Oh, sweetheart, I'm so sorry. But you can mend your broken heart with Douglas. He's in the sitting room. Go and see him. Go and see him. Fine. I'll be going to see him. Go and see him now. Now? Mm -hmm. Okay. After you. Go and see him. What's all this? Oh God, I can't even eat. What is all this? I'm just planning to just finish eating and just take a good nap. And this man shows up from nowhere uninvited. Hi, Erica. Hi. I wasn't sure you're coming out. Sorry, I was busy. I heard you returned home, so I wanted to meet you here since here is better than the last place. What do you want, Douglas? To be friends. Why? Because you're smart. How do you know that? I'm looking at you. Oh, so I have smart written on my forehead right now. No, 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 no. I don't mean that. What do you mean then? I like you. Why? Because you're beautiful. No longer smart? You're both. That's a good thing to hear. Would you like to be friends with me? I would like to think about it. Think about what? Well... I can't see smart written on your forehead. I would like to see that and other things to make up my mind. You're mocking me. I'll never mock a fellow human being. You don't like me. How can I not like the most handsome thing to happen to mankind? I think I should go. No, stay. You don't sound friendly. Please. Don't give up on the possibility of this beautiful union. I think I should go. I'll see you other times. I bet you will. Thank you. My darling, are you okay? Yes, Daddy, I'm fine. Uh, there is something I want to discuss with you. Okay, what is it, Daddy? I just, I just hope you will not panic. Uh, okay, I, I won't. Okay. Uh, I will be going to the hospital for admission. Why? I had a fever last night. So I went to the doctor for a medical checkup. And he told me that uh, I need to be admitted. So <coughs> I came home to, to pick up a few things. Really? I'm, I'm so sorry, Daddy. I need to see you. This whole thing is getting to you. But that's why I want to take things easy. Please, don't leave. Wait for me. 
Marika, I don't think it's necessary uh, unless you can make it, you know, in time. Uh, um, I can get there in the next 30 minutes. <coughs> okay, okay. I love you, Daddy. See you soon. Uh, I love you more, my dear. Congratulations on your reappearance. Erica, you... You won't understand. Let me, let me explain. The last time I came here, your... Your mother shut the door in front of my face. Said a whole lot of things to me. It drew tears to my eyes. I was walking home and I... It occurred to me I'm wasting away. I had no choice than to decide for myself, take a bold step to change my life for the better. So I, I applied for a sponsorship to, you know, tech companies all over the world. And guess what, dear? Eight different tech companies were willing to partner with request. Yes. So I had to go with the best who were willing to give me a stretched lot. What does that mean? Erica. Means I'll be going with you and your father. What are you saying? Are you serious? Yes, everything is. Oh my God! <laughs> it's changed. You look so different. Your father be good to me, dear. Your father is like a father that I never had. It's a problem. See, I, Eric, I don't want to waste time. Erica, I love you. I love you so much. I just don't want to love you. I want to love you and be with you forever. Yes! Yes, Bob! Yes! Yes! Yeah, hello, my boy. Uh, how are you doing? What? She did what? How, how could she? No, why, why would she do that? Okay, 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 okay. Let, let, me, let me see what. No. How could she? What's the matter now? Just got a call from my son. 
that Maya has packed her things and left the house. What? That she took everything. She's gone. I didn't even notice her leaving. <sighs> These kids will give me high blood pressure. God forbid. Just give it a little time. Maybe you call them and speak to them gently. Okay. Uh, oh, no, no. No, let me just... <sighs> No, no. This shirt is not following us anyway. <laughs> Erica, don't go there. You know, you know I, I love this shirt so much. I want to go there. Let Please. me. We are going to Okudo, you boy. Uh, clothes are expensive there. Clothes are expensive in the UK. That's what I heard. Listen, let's. I, I want to go with these ones. Eh? They're my favorite. Okay. Put it here. <laughs> Oh, stop. <laughs> stop. No, this one is fresh. I want to go with this one. We can go with this one. Let's do this clothes. Have there is no need going to the Even UK the to spend money on clothes free. when I have clothes. They are different colors. It shows that it has one of them. Hmm? That's my good luck dress. <laughs> Break it. I'll buy you 10 good luck outfits. 10 designers. Okay. <laughs> you know, once I get there, I will enroll in my school and I'll get side business. That's my girl. Mm -hmm. Do you need that shit? Of course. Okay. It's very expensive, right? But it it's not it's not up to too much. Ah. Uh -huh. Daddy. It's good, it's, it's a quality good. material. It's Put it there. Only. But this one, this one because I this Make sure you don't pack any cockroach. <laughs> <laughs> <It's not laughs> Daddy, what do I do with this one? Hey! But no. it's good. Uh -uh. It's still good. Okay, my trouser, please. <laughs> I'll put this one. Yeah, yeah. And this. Yeah. You're not folding this thing. It's been days now, and they've neither called nor picked my calls. Children grow up and leave their parents. I mean, look at Erica. She goes out in the morning and she doesn't come back till the evening and she doesn't even bother asking for me. I, I, I need my children around me. I'm not used to this distance thing, no. So are you going to force them to come and see you or call you? I will do whatever it is to make them comfortable. My late wife would turn in her grave. If she sees the disconnect between me and the children, she asked me to look after. So what are you going to do? I think you should just return home. I mean, it's like we rushed into this. I already left my husband. I mean, he looks like the kind of man that will be compassionate enough to take you back. What are I... you talking about? Come on, don't raise your voice at me. I want my children around me. I need them to be comfortable enough to at least call me or something. Look, I can't lose them for anything. But Erica is also your child. Yes, I know. But mind you, I've not even done a DNA to know whether it is true or not. But look, trust me, I think we rushed into this. Yes, I, I, I had missed the, the company of women and it was like you were just ready for me. Look, I want my children around me. I, 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 I just can't lose them for anything. They mean the world to me. Excuse me. I, I need to spend some time with them.
Alors I haven't been able to sleep. What are you talking about? Where are you? I'm in Chief's house, but, but he's not around. Are you saying you want to come back home? Yes, but um, it seems like you've changed the locks. So why are you leaving Chief? Well, um, that it didn't work out 26 years ago means that it was not meant to be. So you mean Chief left you again? I'm in pain. Oh. Helen, I warned you. I warned you, but you didn't listen. Eh? It's okay. You can come back home. Come back, it's your home. Thank you. You're the best thing that has ever happened to me. It's okay. I love you, darling. <sighs> Hello, Mom. I was shocked when I learned that you will be returning home after all you did to my dad. It is quite unfortunate. Well, welcome home. The house has been sold. So as you know now, you will be renewing the rent because you have a landlord now. As for the furnishing, it's all yours. Oh. Enjoy the space. We no longer live there. Oh. But... We'll be in touch as soon as we can. Warmest regards. Ben, Arubai's daughter. Had no clue I was living a lie. I can't believe I was so unsighted. Thanks to you, I believed in a lie. Was never ready for war. to put up a fight yeah, yeah. Cause some things are worth fighting for But tell me what's the point if I'll be losing out oh, 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 oh. Can you wake me up from this Cause I'm losing my mind Cause I'm losing my mind How on earth do I let it go? I don't know, I'm trying to figure it out These things are falling apart Cause you only cared about you 